Welcome to HACCP Systems Basics. In this web seminar, we're going to provide you with a basic knowledge of the Hazard Analysis Critical Control Point System. This system has been used as a basis to the food safety program implemented within your business. By the completion of this web seminar, you should have a knowledge of the Australian regulatory requirements for HACCP based food safety systems and the preliminary steps and principles that make up the HACCP framework. What is HACCP? HACCP stands for Hazard Analysis Critical Control Point. HACCP is an internationally recognised methodology for preventing food safety hazards. It's a system which identifies, evaluates and controls hazards which are significant for food safety. HACCP focuses on prevention rather than relying mainly on end product testing. The concept of HACCP is to prevent hazards at the earliest point in the food production process. To help you understand the HACCP acronym further, let's break it down. Hazard. Hazard is just another way of saying risk. What are the risks, hazards, in the process? I.e., when could the food product be exposed to bacterial contamination, chemical contamination, or foreign objects? Analysis. Hazard analysis is a method of determining the probability or likelihood of the hazard occurring versus the consequence of the hazard occurring. Critical. This is the critical moment in the process where identified hazards are likely to occur or be detected. Control. Preventative measures are identified to help control the identified hazards. Points. Critical control points, CCPs, are identified where the potential hazards can be controlled. What is a food hazard? A food hazard can be defined as being a biological, chemical or physical agent found in food that has the potential to cause an adverse health effect. Some common food hazards include bacteria like Salmonella and E. coli, rocks, sticks, band-aids or glass and chemicals from pesticides, cleaning or machine oils and lubricants. Within Australia, there are many pieces of legislation that cover the requirement to have a food safety plan based on HACCP steps and principles implemented within a food business. Food Safety Standard 3.2.1 Food Safety Programs is based upon the principle that food safety is best ensured through the identification and control of hazards. The standard requires food businesses to implement a food safety program based upon the HACCP concepts. Depending on your current location and industry type, HACCP-based food safety programs are a mandatory and legislated requirement. Your customers may also require you to have a HACCP-based food safety system in place. Although it may not be a legal requirement, it may be a requirement of doing business with a particular customer. The first part of developing a HACCP plan is to undertake the five preliminary steps. The preliminary steps are intended to help you gather and collate background information that will help with implementation of the seven principles of HACCP. The five preliminary steps are 1. Assemble the HACCP team 2. Describe the product 3. Identify the intended use of the product 4. Construct a process flow diagram of the product 5. Perform an on-site confirmation of the process flow diagram there are seven principles for HACCP. These are Principle 1. Conduct a hazard analysis. Principle 2. Determine the critical control points. Principle 3. Establish critical limits. Principle 4. Establish a system to monitor control of CCPs. Principle 5. Establish the corrective actions. Principle 6. Establish procedures for verification. Principle 7. Establish documentations and records. To recap, this web seminar has covered the legislative requirements for HACCP based food safety programs in Australia, the HACCP preliminary steps, and the seven HACCP principles. HACCP System Basics has now provided you with a basic understanding to undertake the application of HACCP preliminary steps and principles web seminar. You can now return to the main menu by clicking on the close button in the top right hand corner of this presentation.